German priests defy the Sixth Commandment, rebel against Rome, abomination in the temple. Despite warnings from the Vatican, most of the German clergy defy the order not to bless homosexual couples on May 10, 2021, demonstrating their rebellion not only against the hierarchy of the Church, but against God. This is definitely a schism that can be harmful to the Catholic Church that is now divided by the disobedience of more than a thousand priests who, with their new religion, are no longer Catholics because they are not serving Christ but Satan. In the Sixth Commandment, the Lord tells us not to fornicate, a term that extends to sex outside of marriage, or sex between people of the same sex, or sex with animals. The Word of God speaks very clearly about sin, but if someone does not agree, then he is not in agreement with God, and his soul is lost. Leviticus 20 verse 13 Suppose a man has sex with another man as he would have sex with a woman. I hate what they have done. They must be put to death says the Lord. Anything that happens to them will be their own fault. Romans 1 verses 26 and 27 For this reason God gave them over to wicked lusts, for their wives reversed natural relations for unnatural ones. Likewise also the men, forsaking the natural use of the woman, burned with lust one for another, committing the wickedness of man with man, receiving in themselves the recompense of their trespass. The law of God is for man and woman, both for the lady and much more for priests. Sin is an abomination in the eyes of God. Sin is the cause of Christ's death. Therefore God hates it, and everyone who does not hate sin is on the way to the death of his soul. God forgives sin, but the sinner has to repent and not to sin again so that he can be in a state of grace. Outside of grace we are in darkness and travel straight to the abyss. The rebellion of the priests, not only German, but from any part of the world, is an abomination in the holy place of God. For they are supposed to be Christ to us, the lady, and in the church through the sacraments and their blessings. But the blessing they are doing to sin is a worship of the devil, the author of sin, and at the same time it is a defiance of God, the author of good and grace. This laceration of the body of Christ by the priests is the same thing that happened at the time of the condemnation of Christ by the priests who delivered him to the crucifixion. The priest has the mission to forgive sin and to exhort sinners to lead the ways of evil. But what is happening with this schism in the German church is that the priests are giving courage to sinners to continue their wickedness in glamorizing sin by parading and promoting homosexualism. Isaiah 3 verse 9 The look on their faces is a witness against them. They show off their sin just as the people of Sodom did. They don't even try to hide it. How terrible it will be for them. They have brought disgrace upon themselves. These were Catholic priests, but now they are antichrists. They are workers of the devil. Their sin is greater than homosexuality itself. Their sin is to work against Christ, who is the Church itself, and to seek his destruction. And St. John says it very clearly and continues to accuse the traitors in the first letter, chapter 2, verse 18 and 19. Dear children, this is the final hour, and just as you heard that the Antichrist would come, many are the Antichrist that have already arisen. That is why we realize that this is the final hour. They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But their going showed that none of them belong to us. The Church is suffering a great crisis in the faith. 
It is the apostasy that reigns everywhere. And in the midst of this rebellion, the church has said very clearly that it cannot bless sin, since God does not bless sin. The Catholic Church, most of the time, has been a model of holiness. But nowadays, things have changed so much. Doors and green lights are being opened to sin, from the phrase, who am I to judge? Just as anarchy happens in nations, because men do not admit their laws and form revolutions to overthrow the rulers, the man of today rebels against God and does not want to know about the commandments. Since he cannot resist God, he decides to sin publicly and defy him, and now he has an ally, the priest, for it was never heard before that priests were in favor of sin, yet now many are serving Satan through the approval of sin, and it is not only homosexuality that they approve of, but this has as a consequence the end of the family, that is why they also approve of divorce, abortions, world order, and the end of the family, which is the nucleus of society, the divine creation that the devil seeks to totally destroy. This new type of Protestantism is not only against the church, but against God himself. Let us pray for these priests, blinded by evil, who have trampled on the priestly dignity with which they were anointed. May they convert and obtain God's forgiveness to save their souls. May God forgive them. If you liked this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. What is your concept of the acceptance of homosexuality by priests? Let us know. God bless you.